Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and Indiana Jones is coming to Disney World. We would be honored if you would join us. Actually, that's not entirely fair because Indiana Jones is already at Disney World. The Indiana Jones stunt show is in Hollywood Studios, right? And even before that, if you knew where to look, uh, you would go on the backlot tour. There was a tank and a Jeep from Last Crusade. And if your uh, guide was smart enough to point them out, you could see those vehicles there. They started to get a little rusty. They started to get a little abandoned and covered with weeds. They removed those vehicles when that uh, ride shut down. They cleaned them up, repainted them, and now you can find them on the side of the stunt show. If you go around the side of the stunt show, you can see the tank and the Jeep over there. So that's a good photo op for anybody that likes to cosplay as Indiana Jones. But I go back. <laughs> Indiana Jones is coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom. That's right. So uh, we kind of knew this for a while, but we got confirmation at D23. So when Animal Kingdom first opened in 1998, one of the rides in the back was called Countdown to Extinction. And it was a very scary dark ride where a huge, awful, dinosaur would chase you through the ride and growl at you the, through the whole thing. The music was terrifying, the ride was dark, and kids did not like riding it. It was scary, right? It, it, it was scary. And only two years later, the movie Dinosaur came out with the Iguanodon, and it was a softer, gentler kid movie, right? It's an animated film. And in just two years, Disney changed Countdown to Extinction to reflect some of the characters from the film. They changed the outside statue, they changed the ride movie at the very beginning, they changed the music so that it wasn't as terrifying, they kind of softened the motion of the Jeep to make it not as jerky, and they were hoping to use the popularity of the film, Dinosaur, that more, more people, kids included, would go on the dinosaur ride, and you know, to be fair, it's a fun ride, and I've, I've gone on it a couple of times. There's been some times I've gone to Animal and been like, no, let's not ride Dinosaur. Because the very first time I ever visited Animal Kingdom, as soon as I got into the bay where the ride vehicles are, I said, this is Indiana Jones. This is Indiana Jones. Like, you look at the ride vehicles, they are straight out of Indiana Jones, the ride in California. And then when you're on the ride, <laughs> You, if you know the ride well enough in California, you can feel turn for turn the same events in Dinosaur. <laughs> so you're like, oh, this is where the snakes are. This is where we go over the bridge. This is where we duck for the darts. Like, you know everything turn for turn when you're riding it and getting off. And every time I've ridden it since, I've always thought to myself, you know what? If they would just turn this ride into Indiana Jones, they would have a line out the door for days. I mean, there's a lot of good rides at Animal Kingdom. I think, you know, the, the, the Yeti ride, the roller coaster, that was great. And, a lot, and there's no other roller coaster like it. And then they had Pandora and that brought a lot of people in. But still, you can almost do the entire park in, in half a day, you know? And I've always said, man, this park is just, it's just one or two really good e-ticket rides away from being like the best park in all of Disney World. And I think they're gonna do it. I think they're gonna do it with these two new rides that they're gonna put in the dinosaur area. Uh, I think that is gonna kick Animal Kingdom up to be neck and neck with Hollywood Studios for people's favorites because everyone's gonna wanna see Indiana Jones. And I originally just thought, you know what, all they need to do is just take the California ride and just lay it right on top of the dinosaur ride and you're done, right? Just, you're, you're, you're golden. But at D23, they released some of the pictures and the outside is gonna get a, re, uh, a redress. It's gonna look like some sort of Aztec ziggurat, right? And then the inside, of course, it's gonna be the Indiana Jones ride, but they confirmed for the first time at D23 that it's gonna have a brand new story, which means even people who are familiar with the classic ride in California, they're gonna to get to see new adventures, new storyline. This is gonna be a new, a new Indiana Jones ride in Florida, which I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm, and they could go pretty quick. I mean, 
they have the potential to go pretty quick because when you think about it, they didn't do a whole lot to uh, Splash Mountain. You know, they closed Splash Mountain down and they said, we're gonna put all new robots in, all new music, give it a redress. They changed the exterior a little bit. They did it all like within a year because they didn't have to change the skeleton of the ride. They didn't have to change the ride vehicles. They didn't have to change the ride path. And they don't have to do that now with Dinosaur. They can leave the ride vehicles, the path, the building. All they have to do is make an exterior and then change the, the robots and the stuff on the inside and the queue. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get a new Indiana Jones queue as well. And if you know the building well enough, when you pop out of Dinosaur, there's a store there. That is something that Disney World has needed for a long time, I think, is a proper Indiana Jones store. They've had a pirate store, they've got a mansion store, they've got several Star Wars stores, they've got several Marvel stores, but they don't have one store that's all Indiana Jones. And I, if they don't screw this up, right? I, they, sh they shouldn't, right? Because the, the store's right there. If they just put the merchandise in there, they could have a proper Indiana Jones store with all new merchandise. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Tell me how excited you are down below too. Tell me your hopes and dreams down below. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.